Hey all, um, hi, a welcome to this, I don't even know what this is, this is some kind of devlog slash marketing video for a T-Words client I made and the T-Words client has a very specific, very technical target audience. So it does not run on Windows, it's not meant for gamers and um, it does not run on Mac. So with that out of the way, um, be warned, if you are like the average T-Words gamer, this is probably very boring to you. If you are someone who uses Linux, um, likes using the terminal, this might pique your interest. Anyways, I would just showcase what it is. So it's uh, Chillabot UX, which is a fork of DDRS network, basically the latest DDNet client with some additional garbage I added. Um, it's not a bot client, it's like the bot is a bit of a meme. And it's a headless version. Basically the DDNet client also has a headless version that doesn't have any graphics, it's just the, the lock of the client. But this one is a feature enriched headless version where you can interact with it. I will just boot it up and you can see what I mean. So basically you will be greeted with a menu um, where it tells you that you have key bindings available. You can press the question mark to open a help page, B to open a browser and enter to close this pop-up. So we will just click enter and the pop-up is gone. So you can see it's like a terminal application, like an interactive terminal application. You can also scroll in the, whoops, this is my Tmux getting in the way. You can also scroll in the, in the lock. So that's pretty cool. Um, and you can also use page up, page down. And we have a menu down here that is open when you start the client. And this all might change. It's under development, not very active development. I work on this from like sometimes, sometimes I don't work on it. It's usually in a somewhat bugged state. It's like all held together by duct tape and broken code. But as of right now, it has a peak uh, when it comes to stability, um, usability uh, and features. So I decided to make a quick uh, video about showing what it can do. So anyways, we can use the arrow keys to go left and right. And uh, let's open the help page. And it tells us that we can close the help page by pressing the question mark key. So let's do that and we can toggle it on and off. And you can do that basically anywhere in the client to see what key presses you have available. Um, so what else can we do? We can press the B key to open the browser um, and we can scroll through here. So this is basically the regular server browser you're used to from other clients and it highlights in bold the server you selected with enter, we can join the server. And um, yeah, so you can use arrow up down to select the server or you can scroll and you can see we are currently in the internet tab. I can also use the left and right arrow key to go to my LAN tab. I currently don't have any LAN servers running. Um, my favorites, uh, most of the servers that I favorited are down. It's a classic, right? Um, we have the DDoS network tab, the King of Gores tab. Um, so basically we have a lot of features that the regular DDNet client has because this is not a client written from scratch. It's basically DDoS network with the graphics stripped out. So many of the DDNet features are still in here, but of course only if I supported them uh, and rewrote a terminal UI for them. Um, cool, so let's let's join a server let's join i don't know some kind of where do we want to join by the way um you can also it does resize pretty well ish <laughs> um you can search with a slash and then a search bar pops up at the top um if you don't have enough space that's why I wanted to zoom out real quick. Uh, the search bar is here at the bottom. Um, this is also, this might change, who knows, whatever. Um, so we can search here for, I don't know, what do we want to play? FNG 
and then we will join this FNG solo alive server. I just press enter. As you can see, we have a download bar uh, here and now I'm connected to a server. We have the chat down here. People are kick voting um, and being toxic. Oh, I have a currently tapped out message that's from Chillabot. I can press the H key to reply, hi. Um, so where do, uh, <clears throat> yeah, now I, I skipped over a few features. So in the chat, someone said, yo, Chair Dragon. Um, and it said, I'm currently tapped out because Chillabot UX kind of detects you as being tapped out all the time. Um, this is because, well, there's no, no graphics. I can quickly turn that off by opening the local console. Um, I press F1 to open the local console and then I can say uh, tapped out message. As you can see, I have all the auto completion um, you're used to from, well, your console as say zero and now it doesn't send these annoying messages anymore. Um, and I can press the H key. So if I press question mark, you can see the H is auto reply to known chat messages. So this is a Chillabot UX feature as well, which is also in the graphical client. If you get pinged in the chat, you can respond with a auto response if it's a known message. So if someone pings me and says hi, and I press the H key, it automatically replies with hi and the person who pinged me. Um, so that is useful if you want to quickly chat. Um, anyway, so T to chat, um, we can open the chat and we can say hello. Um, I can also use tab to autocomplete names that are currently connected. You can use uh, word jumping with control. You can say control U, control K to delete similar like in read line. You can say um, you have the history with the arrow keys. Um, you, the history is also persisted across client restarts. You can say control R to search in the history. So if I search for hello, uh, I can send hello again. Um, there's Z for team chat. Currently, you cannot rebind um, messages, uh, key binds. Uh, Jesus, I can't read the chat and do this talking. Uh, you cannot change the key binds for fuck's sake. Um, but yeah, whatever. Maybe this will come in the future. So this is this is team chat. Um, I can also press the tab key, and you can see. Um, the scoreboard, it's sorting by the score. So we have the score, the players, the clan. Um, and yeah, what, what else is there? Well, there's this very cursed visual mode. So if I press V, um, it tries to render the map. So this is, I think, a regularish CTF5. I don't know the map. Anyway, so this map rendering is super cursed. It's uh, a work in progress and if you know the map, sometimes you can recognize where in the map you currently are. By the way, also down here we have the coordinates displayed and if I press A, you can see the coordinates change and this is my T kind of here. So I can move with A and D. Um, so that, that is kind of working. You can also jump with the space key. So this client is not meant to be used for playing, but you get the power of a terminal client that spins up as lightweight as like a terminal application, but has similar features to a graphical um, client. If you don't get the use case for that, I, I cannot really sell it to you. Um, I use it a lot for testing. Uh, if I develop something in the server or in another client and the only thing I need to test my feature is some other client chatting with it, joining, killing. By the way, you can also self-kill with K. Um, can I self-kill an FNG? Am I frozen or something? Yeah, now I self-killed. As you can see, I'm in a new location now. Um, uh, yeah, let's close this bug visual mode. Does it let me close it? Yeah, it's all, it's all a bit wonky. Did I break it? Yeah, okay, it, it, I knew something would, would get bugged. Um, hello, is it gone now? Yes, it's gone now. Cool, so that is working. Um, what else can we do? Let's check the features. So, ah, we have a remote console. Uh, Self-kill, yes, team chat. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Let's go to the server browser again um, and let's go to a server 
that is controlled by me where I know the recon password. So if you press F2, F2, you open the remote console and then here you can type the recon password. Um, it's one, two, three for demonstration purposes. Um, anyways, now I'm authenticated. So I can use all the like console commands the admin can do. And I do have to tap auto completion with the help text up here, similar to the local console on F1, um, which is, which is kind of neat, I would say for a terminal client. Um, so I can say something like say, hello world. And then in the chat, it says, hello world twice because everything is super bugged in this client. Um, yeah. Anyways, so is there anything left that I can show? I mean, I basically took the liberty to let's, let's have a look at another map at multi map because it's such a classic. It's full shit. Uh, let's go to this one then. So if I press the visual mode key here, I took the liberty to to kind of add colors. So I hard coded if the map is multi map, that collision will become like greenish. So it, it kind of looks like multi map. If you know the multi map spawn, you know that this looks very broken. But also you can kind of recognize that this is the spawn. Like if you know the spawn, you can see someone's dragging me right now somewhere. Um, it, it's not meant to play, but you, you can quickly check stuff uh, if, if you need to. But I can do all the things. So I can say, hey, and then autocomplete, or I can say, whoops. I can say, pause, um, night watchman. And now we are pausing that guy. Ah, the pause follow thingy doesn't work with the visual mode, whatever. <laughs> um, I mean, it's, it's not fully polished and like scrolling is a bit glitchy sometimes, but it, it does work. Um, and stuff also doesn't break if you resize it. So you can easily spin up two clients at the same time. Or what is also the power of a headless client is you can SSH into a server and then you can run a client on a server. If you quickly want to test something with two clients. I have a client on the left hand side that is running on my machine and a client on the right hand side that is uh, running in a data center that has a different IP that can be also helpful if you want to quickly test something and you don't want to test with, um, I don't know, a FIFO client or whatever. It, uh, it helps a lot to, to have this somewhat interactive client. I can do the same things here, so I can also join. Um, now this one is full as well. Wait, which one? Yeah, let's join a Brutal server here. And it works the same way. So on the right hand side, I'm connected to this Brutal server. We can see, oh, I finished this map. Wonderful. Um, yes, so this is the headless client. If you want to install it, you can adjust. Papa, you have to do a. Uh, let's quickly have a look at GitHub. So you go to uh, github.com slash chillerbot slash chillerbot UX and you clone this thing. And then you want to compile the boy with. It's basically those commands. So you download the source code, you CD into it, uh, you create a build folder, and then you have to compile it with the CMake flags headless client on. This one is also included in DailyNet. Um, and then curses client on um, to make it interactive, right? Then you build the thing and then you run it. Uh, if you want to run it on Windows, you can just go to the Windows store and download some Windows subsystem, Linux subsystem like Ubuntu or Debian. You can just get Ubuntu or Debian in the Windows store, um, start up that thing, and then you can um, run it inside of that terminal if you want to. Um, yes, you do need the curses library. So you have to install uh, libcurses 
W if you want the proper UTF-8 support, um, but it depends on your packet manager. Anyways, if you're interested in such, such a client, I hope you know how to do those things anyways. Um, so that is that. I hope it, it piques someone's interest. And um, if not, it's also fine because I am profiting a lot from this. So it was worth my time building it. It's in such a active use from my side. Cool. Thanks for watching.